Right. Not get the part. Just show them what That's you true. can do. Yeah. That's what you want to do. You show them what you can do best. Yeah. But not because if you want to get the part, you're never going to get the part. Yeah. All you can do well, is like Chaz Palantir did. Right? Yeah, Chaz Palantir. He wrote his own, he wrote his own story, yeah. and, and that that, that well, became a new thing too. Yeah. To write the write your own story, like yeah. or Sylvester Stallone, and th those are good things. If you're if you're a writer, uh, that's not my forte, but yeah. you got to know what you're good at also, you know. But you, you could you story. could you could if somebody comes up to you with an idea for a script and stuff. You you could see where it's going. I can help shape it. Yeah. Yes, I can help shape I don't, there's it. Not, there's not that's a that's an art itself because a lot of people yeah. can't do that. You know, you, yeah. you give them a script and and they they're thinking of it a, a totally different than than really. The, the average way. actor takes a script and says, "Okay, how many how many lines do I have here?" And right. and that's not what it's about. The lines, yeah. it's, it's what yeah. you're doing, and how you know right. what, you're, you know, what, what the right is trying to. The bring out, right? The With the right is everyone, right. It's an ensemble. Yeah. You know, some people have larger roles, but it's not about what you do. It's, it's focusing on dancing your best dance for yourself, yeah. not for others. Yeah. The right. act that's looking at the, how many lines he has yeah. is looking to see, well, how can I impress people? Well, he's on, you're on the wrong track. Mm -hmm. By doing the other line, the one line right, you're going to get more lines. They're yeah. going to give you more lines because you're not focused on being... This, doing yeah. that, you know, they want to see that you can. They're going to give you more stuff to do because you're not so focused on being great. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. being, what about being great? <laughs> uh, being yourself. Yeah, being and self. being honest. Yeah, it's true. You know, we all get into dilemmas, yeah. and that's drama. That's what drama's about, and comedy also. Drama. Yeah, because sometimes even if you don't get a role, they'll remember you for for something else. Like they'll be like, oh, you know, that person was really good for for something else. Maybe not for this, yes. but for something else. Right. So yeah. as long as you're just yourself and yeah, you don't overthink it. And um, yeah, it's important to like read the whole like read the whole script, like understand your character and like what's going on. You know, not just how you said like, oh, how many I, I have this these lines and then that's it. Yes. I went in. I went in for more and order at least. Five or six times before I landed the first role in Law and Order uh, yeah. with Jerry Orbach. But I went five or six times. So something they liked about me. It wasn't, you know, you can't take things personal. Yeah. But, you know, I, of course when you get into your, into your career a little bit more, you, you kind of say, how could they not have cast me? But it's really yeah, the same... Yeah. It's really the same principle too. A director mm -hmm. sees a, per, a certain person in that role. You got really. Yeah, the acting is really yeah. good, but yet he doesn't see you in that role. Right, and and the director is yeah, exactly. concentrating on the whole picture. And if right. you don't fit in that picture, it's like uh, you know what I'm saying. Oh, it's like drawing, uh, drawing. You know, yes. colors like all oh, red, blue. That. That's the power. Now all of a sudden you put a color in. Now that don't take that. Out. Not that you're not. You could be the greatest actor in the world. You, can. you don't fit into that. Yeah. Into the, into the uh, tapestry. But, yeah. but like you said, there'll be a time where you come comes around with it. There's a part that yeah. is for you, and they and yeah. a, a good director will say, "Wait a minute, that's the guy that he didn't fit into that role." Exactly. Yeah. But he fits into this role. We talk about that. We're talking about this because you know a lot of times it really is uh, in, in, in acting, at least in this in entertainment. I don't know if, it, if yeah, it's, no, it's, it's probably it's relative to music also and yeah. to many of the arts is hanging in, and staying in the game and get, getting to the car table whatever you want whatever metaphor you want to use being in the game showing up showing is really the half about keep it continue to show up because one of those times you show up someone's going to say. Wow, and that's all it takes. Well, that's funny. You Sometimes said. it takes a whole lifetime for that yeah. to happen. Some people's careers started on the latter end yeah. of their lives, but they did. Morgan Freeman is a perfect example. He started a little bit later on in, yeah. his, in his career. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I think that, you know, it's, it's, it's a very tough thing. We all do what we have to do. When you're an actor, you do you have many little you you juggle many little many jobs yeah. to keep going. But in in the end, if you truly want to do it, if it's in your heart, do you know what I mean? I was very fortunate that I had 
James came down to Caroline, you know, Caroline. Yeah. To, so it's a to, there so was, I was fortunate in that way, but I guess maybe yeah. the forces of nature and God or whatever. Well, you put yourself, put there, you put yourself in position. Doing the streetcar yeah. prior to that. Yeah. If you didn't do that gig at Caroline's, right, you never could be there. You know, if I didn't do street yeah. running desire and work mm -hmm. with James, yeah. and then, and try to keep an open relationship. Yeah, know, so. it's like we we did an audition in the city, right? To, uh, we were opening up. We were. We went to back up, push, push in the bush, you know, push, push, you know. Uh, you remember that? No, but listen to this. So the, the um, guys out there, the, the agent, the manager of uh, booking the, the gig, it's a big, it was a huge gig. And he goes, oh, so they didn't show up. So I, I was, my brother Drew goes, what are you going to do, Fred? I said, I'm going to go up to him and tell him to book us. Forget about push, push in the bush. We could do the same thing. But no, <laughs> yeah, so anyway. I went up to him and I says, listen, you know, they had, a, they had a lot of people and I says, if I could get this dance floor packed up for 20 minutes and keep them on the floor, would you hire us? 100%. I said, okay. Well, turn awesome. the lights. Okay. Bam. <laughs> I had the dance floor packed for, you know, because I bottom fed them with the mm -hmm. slow, the fast, yeah. blah, 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 yeah, blah. Yeah. And he goes, wow, that's great. When could awesome. you could you come to Hawaii? I said, Should I come to Hawaii? Wow. We were in Hawaii for two months. I was okay, swimming. Right. Yeah. That's you know being the, in the game. Yeah. That's going to the game. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to the game. But I'm just saying, like what you're saying, just being there and showing up like you were in Carolines. I, I we we were, I, I can tell you that um, of 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 that having your, having humility <laughs> is so yeah. important. It's true. Having humility is so important yeah. in, in, in acting in anything. Um, if your agent calls you up and says, I have a one line for you in a, in a new TV series, in a pilot. Oh, no, I'm not going to be doing the one line. No way. I'm, I'm on yeah, Sopranos. Yeah, right. When I was Eugene on Sopranos, I, had yeah. my, I hung myself. I, I, had, you know, I did all this stuff. I had a whole episode of that. Thing. No, right. no. I went in for that role for the one line. It turned out that Amber Tamberlin was, it was called The Unusuals, mm -hmm. and Jeremy Renner from Hurt Locker, remember yeah. Hurt Locker, the lead actor in Hurt Locker, he was in the series. So I got to meet him and to work with some great people. Yeah. It didn't make it, but because I had the humility to go in for the one line, they kept me around. Yeah, they started yeah. expanding my role, yeah, but I did two or three episodes. It, they right? played in Europe. It didn't make it, but that's what I'm talking about yeah. also, yeah. having the humility. To not to turn down things because you sure. never know yeah. what happens. Mm -hmm. You a lot of people are surprised, like Dre De Mateo, she had one line, David one liked line, it, right. David David liked it, so let's keep her around. Yeah. Um, also uh, uh, Dan Grimaldi, who was playing a, a role that he was going to die, David liked him so much they made they made him have a twin brother. They gave him yeah. a twin yeah. brother. They made him a twin brother. So Pat Patsy <laughs> Patsy Parisi had a twin brother. I forgot the other Parisi died. They made it so yeah. You just need to wow. show. You, you really just need, need to, to show up. To stay, stay <laughs> yeah. in the game. Show up. So all for all show the show this people and the actors. Yes, if, if it's, can, it's so important to stay to last. It's like a marathon, mm -hmm. and sometimes the last three hundred. And I think it's. I think it's less. How many more yards in the marathon? That's three hundred twenty <laughs> miles. Says we need a big break. Three hundred sixty-five yards. We need a big break, but yet they're whole. Uh, sometimes on the three hundred sixty-fifth yard, you get your, you get you get what you want. And exactly. Yeah. There you go. Exactly. And then yeah. nobody's making fun of you anymore. Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing now? You know, you, you're an actor. You, 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 you're, oh, yeah. you're waiting tables. You're an actor. You're working at a paint store. You well, were, I wouldn't say abuse, but no, I, I, I found a lot of that. People say things like that to you. What do yeah. they say? Well, it is abuse in a way. They do. Yeah, a lot of people just don't believe that you're going to get anywhere or do anything. And then they're like, oh, you were, you know, you're doing this or you're doing that. Like... Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, maybe you should think about yeah something yeah. else. Or meanwhile, something. she gradu oh graduated. Oh. You know. Yeah, I do have my a. My aunt is in college with the psychiatrist. Yeah, I, She's a psychiatrist. Yeah. She could. I pick, do. Um. She could pick up brain and. Maybe yeah, I do psychology and, and counseling. <laughs> There's a lot of people like that. Those people, a lot of those people, their dreams never really materialized, and uh, they get their they get their they get they get off whatever on people who are trying to to realize their dreams. There's nothing that dream is. Is like that sting song, uh, fragile. Yeah, I love that. You sent me that. Do you know I came up with a lick That's on like a, a piano dream. through that? So fragile. I, I don't know. It's like a glass menagerie. I right? came up with a, an idea you... for. Well, not an idea. I just I said, wow, this, this is, you know. Yeah. But it made me go into another 
mm-hmm. it's fear of, of, of feeling, right. you know, yeah, so, yeah, not that sure. the same idea, you know. But if that's what a dream is, and people don't, but the people, uh, a lot of people, uh, they, there's nothing, I mean, I mean I one man's, one man's, I, I think Gandhi said this, one man's labor is no more important yeah. than another man's labor. Mm-hmm. That's very true. It, it, it's very true in many, many things. Um, but this is what you're given, and you, and you do the best you can with what you want to do in your dream. So people should be a little yeah. bit more sensitive right. to people like us when they do that. And then, of course, when you make it and everything, your phone's ringing 9 to exactly. 5. I can tell you from the first day yeah. experience, people, I was very gracious. I didn't tell anyone, go yeah. I hate your guts. You, you, you told me to get a real job, and now I do exactly. have a real job. Yeah, you and you're calling me up to congratulate me? Exactly. Yeah. Are you nuts? It, it's a, you know, really, though, if you think about it, you're always getting abuse. If you abuse? If you can't take abuse in this sure. business, don't even go there. Oh, yeah, this Stay thing home. They say you need well, a tough skin. To watch the last scene and go to sleep. If you need a tough skin to it be a true. musician. Yeah. Especially, think about painters. I'm doing a, a, a play called Painting X's on the Moon by Richard Viteri. It's an abstract play, but it's a, really about a painter and, and, and an actress who made the wrong choices, and she tries to get mm. this young painter to make the right choices yeah. because... He's starving, he's broke, and her husband broke. offers him, like, the world, like Satan offers mm. Christ, the, you know, yeah. like the temptation. Wow. And somehow, she liberates him by sacrificing her life for him. Wow. And he's able to go on and paint. You don't see that at the end, yeah. but it's, it's, it's so true uh, yeah. in, 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 our, in our profession that there's so many ways you could be pulled sideways oh, yeah. and everything, you know? It's mm-hmm. like Sarah, Sarah. But a painter, yeah. a painter, they have it even worse because that error is gone, basically. Yeah. The right. error of painting, kind think of. about it. Let's go see a painting artist. There's a great painter. His name is Jackson Park. He's on 14th Street. I want you to see his exhibition. Yeah. No one talks about that. They yeah. talk about uh, 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 Big Edge from the TV show. Yeah, Big Edge. Oh, yeah. I mean, no, no I did, Big Edge. Actually, I, like I, did the the first, yeah. I did the first she show with her. She passed down, away like down in May. God bless her. God bless her. Yeah, yeah. I met I met her uh, once person, on a show yeah. on a on a thing that I was doing. Yeah. Yeah, she seemed nice, but yeah, well, she, she has a lot. Of, show she has a lot of energy. Well, I'm just trying to make an analogy from between painting and and but people see actors in a different light. Yeah, they do. And musicians too. You got a good band, you know. And now with everything with the internet, with live streaming, where it's a lot, you can produce a lot more on your own. Yeah, it's not yeah. the same. Yeah. I was in the uh, era with, the, you know, I mean, the second time around yeah. with live Chuck Berry come up with it, with it, he'd be pulling his his cord and, and and all of a sudden just start playing the, uh, mm. the something you played in grammar school. Right. Yeah. And he mm-hmm. and he and he start doing this. That must and, and the audience would go crazy, go nuts. That's all he did it was that great one thing, dance. Great thing to play with Chuck Berry. Yeah, it was Chuck that. Berry was he was wow. his foot there, and he, he had this bass off. He said, "Follow it. the bass player." The bass player was on ludes. He, I, 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 he's telling me, no, listen to this. He's telling me, I'm up on the stage, right? Goes, Fred has the best stories. I'm up on the stage, and, and he goes, oh, follow the bass player. I said, all right, I'll follow him. First, for, not even halfway through the song, I'm looking at him. <laughs> I said, that's it. I had enough. The guy is looking up at the sky. He's playing <laughs> like he's in slow motion, at a time. I said, this is never going to work. I said, that's it. We ground, me and Chuck just grounded him out. I was just jamming drums and him. That's it. And he was playing, you know, the guitar. That was it. The bass player, done. He was gone anyway, so... (laughs) But we ended up playing for an hour and a half on stage. That's cool. And and his agent, his manager comes up, he says, that's the longest he's ever been on stage. Because usually he goes with his suitcase. Listen to this. He comes in with his suitcase and he goes... You're the drummer? He's all right. I said, where's the uh, promoter? Oh, he's out somewhere. With the, oh, he said, bring him in. Didn't come in. He said, then he finally comes in. He goes, where's my money? He goes, what do you mean? He says, well, if you don't put the 25000 in that suitcase mm. in 10 minutes, I'm out of here. Mm. He told him. Meanwhile, he's got this girl on his shoulder. He picked her up on the side of the street. He was insane. He, Chuck 
Very you know, I'm not. Wow. I'm not saying he's bad. He's great talent, but you know, he's a nut. He, 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 he. You can't. You can't train a wild musician from the '60s, '70s, '80s. You just. You'll never do it. Right. That's what. That's what the way I am. You know. You can't. Yeah. We play. Listen to this. I'll tell you another story. Funny. This one. We went up yeah. in the city, right? And this girl, she said, sing it. So Drew came with the, you know, Drew had a, you know, we had the guitar. I had to bring the drums up and everything. And the girl goes, I'm playing the drums, you know. She goes, where's the uh, Tiffany? Tiffany? I says, to her, I says, I got up like this. I says, wait a minute. I says, I to put my drums all the way up the stairs and, you know, all that. I says, now you want me to bring a, a symphony drum up? I says, yeah. I says, here. I hit the floor. I says, there's your symphony. <laughs> I says, now give me my money. <laughs> but anyway, guy, we got to get back to you because no, okay. we're here with Rob. Rob, Fanaro. I finally grasped his last name. I was called Barrasso, Fanano, Fanano. <laughs> and then I says, no, Fanaro. Wonderful. Fanaro. <laughs> but how many times I, I screw up a lot of I know. stuff? But you know, I did too. I walk into room. Oh, we we, we I cry. Mean, we never worry. We're, we're only right. actors on the stage. Huh? We weep. We cry. We never worry. Mm -hmm. We're only actors on the stage. Uh -huh. That was Gandhi. Oh there wow! Because you, you said Gandhi. Yes. Gandhi. See, you made it. Yes. Up. But we, anyway, we Rob, Rob, only Rob is a stage. real, not just an actor. He is like a genius when it comes to. <laughs> Creating scene, no, but I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Like you, you, you got to see. It's like art. You can't just, you know, if you're an artist, you're an artist, you know, and that's what you are. You're an artist of well, the you. acting. Well, we got to start so, doing. You, so I'm just saying, what you did this, already, what, what you happened? did already, as acting, mm -hmm. was great. I mean, you, you made it. You made it. But you, you went further by, by being, you know. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll, 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 we'll keep, continue to, to be yeah. continued. Yeah. Post-COVID and post-production. So out of these, I got The Sinner. Um, yes. Charlie Mann. Jessica Biel. Yes, that was one. Or, the, or Dina. Wow. Deanna. Deanna is, was my wife on Sopranos. Mm. And I had to convince her that staying in, in Jersey was the right thing. But she Do we have that one? Yeah, we have Deanna, right? <laughs> Tell me about it. It's not the same gene. Yeah, there it is. It could be better. The sums down there, we're ignoring the negatives. It's fucking brutal with the bugs. Tony and Silvio, all they understand is appearances. We'll buy a new car, it'll raise my profile. You watch, I'll make captain. I found this under our son's bed. Wow. So what, what, what was that scene about? That was uh, Deanna when Tony said, uh, actually, Tony said no, that I couldn't go to Florida. Silvio told me this, and I had to go back and convince Deanna that staying in Jersey was the only alternative for us to keep going mm. and she didn't want to hear it and the walls are closing in on me wow. slowly and and of course my son was on uh, drugs it looked as heroin and she found the syringes and uh, we had a really bad relationship at the end of that scene I asked him where he's going and, and uh, which really was ahead of yeah. its time because that was mm -hmm. before like the whole epidemic with the Oxycontin yeah. and the heroin yeah. that came. Like, that's David Chase was ahead of his time when it came to that. Mm -hmm. I know because it, 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 it was a personal thing that happened to me in, in my life with someone very close to me. And um, <clears throat> um, so um, that was one of the scenes that, you know, that led to my demise. Wow. There was a whole bunch of scenes. Another scene was that I was going to become an informant because Ray Curto uh, 
Yeah. There's no way they'd be able to. How died. did you get? How did you get that? You you had that that stress, like almost crying look to you. Do you, you when you? I was just. Did you get, how'd you get into that mood? Uh, like, well, it just you know, just uh, it's just. It's just, uh, what, you, know, you know, just to try to prepare for it. So yeah. you see that, you see... <laughs> they gave me eye drops. <laughs> oh, you did? No, don't tell me that. You, <laughs> no, it's okay, I won't kill you. They gave me eye drops. <laughs> there are some tricks. Yeah, yeah they do. They do do that. Yeah. They do do that. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was real acting, guys. That was awesome. true acting. Man. Wow. Awesome. That was sad, you know. Yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> you put the eye drops. He's like, no, nah, Fred, they that gave me the eye drops. my career. <laughs> the eye drops. It wasn't the acting. It was the eye drops. Yes. Oh, man. Right? That's funny. Well, you know, that happens yeah. a lot in acting. Sometimes yeah. you just can't get the feeling. And, and, and what the director wants is they have a, yeah. a certain feeling there. And, and it's just a second, so it, it works. But, you know, people can tell. People who watch it can yeah. tell. Yeah. yeah. But you, so, yeah, yeah, but you got to put yourself... What, I mean, what I, you know, what I learned about it and what what other actors t told me was that you got to put yourself into that, into that, uh, into I think that, that yeah, into that story I, yeah. and think you about You use it. yourself, you use yourself, it's always going to be you, but it's the actions that you take. It's not the emotion, it's the actions, because everything comes to action, what you want, what you need, what your intention is, and then... Everything springs forth from that. But there is an element of identifying with the person that gives you probably that emotion, that, that mm -hmm. feeling. Um, some actors never took acting lessons, but they got that feeling, they had that instinctual thing that yeah. they, they were able to use themselves. But most times it's you doing those things and that the making those choices. And when you make those choices, it's you, definitely you, but it also becomes the character. Yeah. Right. But you, not, you, not you wouldn't necessarily do that. I wouldn't, necess I wouldn't hang myself. Yeah. But, you know, Eugene does. Right. Eugene, Eugene does, does because they won't, first told him won't let him out. Wow. Yeah, and, and, you, and you did look out. stressed. You did look uh, yeah, tremendously they want, they want, they You looked in that stress. mode of, uh, wow. But they wanted that stress. They wanted the, the walls to close it wow. on. So that was tough. That was, it a, was tough. a great episode, which won an Emmy Award for yeah? ep an episodic Emmy Award for. That was great to be a part of that, also. Wow. I did like that I, when I I watched it a couple of times. And, That's pretty cool. And I I felt that about it, you know. Mm -hmm. I was like I, I liked I you know I felt. You know, when you could, that's the thing too, when you watch a movie, like, there's a lot of movies, like, right, you know, you watch them for a little bit, and you're like, they're not, that's not, a, you know what I mean, they're not really, they're not pouring themselves to that point where you could believe it, that's what, I guess that's, is that what I'm saying, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I mean, it's... It, it, you gotta sometimes you got to believe the part you play, you Experience, know? your experience marries the the role. I mean, it's yeah. hard not to... It's like when a painter paints, he tells you to hold something. It may not be the object, the real object you're holding, but he wants to see... Like Michelangelo said that he would go uh, and, and he would pay the, the corner or whatever where they kept the bodies and they would open up the bodies and he would put his hands in the body wow. and to feel the organs. So when he painted he would know what was inside. Wow. The 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 inside of the, of the of the how the body would be formed. So in acting your experience eventually, like in the beginning when you're acting, you do roles that you don't really truly understand, but then your experience makes you understand that role and then they become the role and the experience come together and then you you lock up, you lock, you lock, lock and load, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Lock and load, yeah. You got, and you got to let it, you got to go, right? It wants, you know, well, once you... Oh, it's to, 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 yeah, I mean, you it's know. just, uh, it, it's, again, it comes down to doing something that's true, that's meaningful and interesting, because all good acting is true, yeah. and all good drama is true, and all good comedy is true. It's meaningful, it's interesting. You recognize yourself. Mo and Brenda... He was. He, he once said that though on the on the waterfront, I I I, the, I could have been a contender speech. That 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 speech itself, everyone he said people another actor could have done it and could have been not maybe as great as him, 
but they would, people would have identified with that scene and remembered it. How many people say, say to you, I could have been somebody, I could have been, I could have been, been it was you, Charlie, yeah. I could have been. Right. Everyone feels that someone, yeah. in yeah. one way or another, in their minds, made a decision right. that Maybe. really screwed them up. And they probably did. You know, then you get, you didn't get, they didn't get a second chance. And, and Eugene doesn't get a second chance to, to, to do his life over. So people yeah. identified with Eugene because how many people want to get out of their situations, but they can't. They're locked in. Their bosses can't let them out. Or their circumstances uh, and their situations in life. They have children. They can't get out. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's a very... Um, very they, emotional thing. Yeah. Very yes. emotional. Yeah, so we're getting to the Got end, Rob. Okay. So, Rob, for now, everybody, Miranda hey. Panda, my co-host. Hey, Miranda Panda. Well, you thank you, uh, Rob. You, I'll tell you, uh, everybody out there, who do you like TV land? I had a love. I had a love. I love you, Fred Kasha. Yeah. You're a great person. Love you guys. Great heart, Maria. I love you. I love you. God love you. bless everyone. Stay safe. Wear yeah. your mask and take it off when you're vaccinated. <laughs> vaccinated. Yes. All right. Hey, guys. Love you out there. Love you. See you next time.